Look, y'all. Understand this. All right? Understand this. Women. There is no confidence from being an object. There is no confidence from being used. There's no confidence of being a piece of meat. You cannot have confidence like that. I'm going to use I'm going to use another example. I use a similar, similar example in one of my last videos. So picture this. You're in you're in an apartment. So picture this. So picture this. Picture this. Picture this. Picture this. You're in a city. You're the only person in the whole city with toilet paper. So what does that mean? Everybody's got to get their business done at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? When they're in the bathroom in the morning, whatever, at night. Women sit down when they pee, so they need it twice as much as, as men. Everybody got to use toilet paper. So everybody comes to you. Now, now think of this mindset. Think of this mindset. Think of the mindset of this person. And, and, let, me, and let, me, let me show you how stupid this is. Wow. Everybody's coming to me for toilet paper, man. Like, look, man, I'm so, I'm such, I'm so like, I'm so special. Like, I'm such a person of value. Like, dang, man, they, they really need me. Um, man, they must really want me. You know, I really am. I really am that person. I really am. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm good at what I do. I'm, I'm so, I'm so good at what I do. I'm so better than most people at what I do. You see the arrogance? Do you see the arrogance? Do you see where it comes from? The pride? They don't want you. They want the toilet paper. And if the next person up the street had the toilet paper and you did it, they would go to them. If you didn't have the product, they wouldn't want you. And this is what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. To have confidence from being an object or from being a piece of meat that is not confidence at all. It is pure delusion. There is nothing hard about appealing to a man's base desire at the bottom of his loins. At the very bottom of his loins. This is where it comes from. It doesn't come from here. It's not an intellectual desire. It is a mere base instinct that men have. It is a drive that we can't stop if we want it. It's what drives people to cheat, not just find cheaters. It is what drives people to do very stupid things. It is one of the most powerful desires that men has. And he can't, in a way, it's almost like most men don't have control of it. So, what you're saying is, I am so valuable. You really think you're so valuable in the mind because you appeal to a man's base desires? No, you are not. Because I'm telling you right now, if the same, if a different person had what you had, they would just go there. You have nothing special. There's nothing special about being an object. There's nothing special about being a piece of meat. There's nothing special about looking like a piece of meat, about looking like an object, about looking like somebody who can be easily obtained. Do you understand now? Women, a lot of times, chase the wrong thing. They chase this stupid very, 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 very obtainable position of being an object. But these womanists, I mean, you replace that W with an F, these people, they, they make you think that it's empowering. And it's empowering to basically be bait or the last piece of meat out of meat market. It is very, there's, there's something empowering to... Slitting your slitting a, a part of your skin and putting it in a water full of sharks. There's nothing empowering about that. It's retarded. It's naive. It's dangerous. It is it is irresponsible. It's self-destructive. <laughs> You're bringing on a lot of of potential trauma in the future. You get what I'm saying? A woman who wears clothes that is like this. You know what I'm saying? And she sits and she sits on Instagram on the bathtub, on the, I mean, on, the, on the bathroom sink, like all these freaking women do. This is all you gotta do. And you get power. I'm telling you right now, it's from the devil. The devil wants you to not be looked as 
a soul, a living soul uh, with a spirit, a mind, a body. He wants to reduce you into a, a pound of flesh. However much you weigh, that many pounds of flesh. What? To be used. To be the object of a man's base instinct. Not for him to want to settle down. Not for him to want to cherish you and lift you up. But for him to drag you through the mud. You see, real confidence comes from your ability to have value through your morals, through what you believe is right, and to stand for that. Not to manipulate men. See, manipulation is not confidence. That's treachery. That's trife. That's trife. That's strife. It's not. That's evil. It is not. Now, now let me get one thing straight. To be appreciative of the body that you've been blessed with or that you worked hard for, that's one different thing. But to flaunt it so blatantly, without any shame, without any dignity, all you're doing to the world is you're telling them, don't respect me. Don't treat me special because I'm doing the most non-special thing any woman can do in order to attract a man. There is no dignity. There's no self-respect there. There's no honor there. There's no virtue there. It is mere, I don't know, it's whorish behavior. It's horrible with a WH. It's very horrible behavior. Now, I'm not saying that you're a horrible person. I'm saying you're acting very horribly. I'm not calling you a person, uh, a H or a WHO, we know that word. I'm just saying you're doing very whorish behavior. You're acting very whorishly. So, what's the alternative? The alternative, yes, it's, it doesn't get the spotlight. The alternative doesn't catch any eyes. The alternative doesn't get you on TMZ. People want to take shots at you. The alternative will never get the spotlight. The alternative will never be looked up upon because the world doesn't support that behavior. But the alternative is, let me be somebody who's low-key, who's not necessarily trying to show the assets that I have. Maybe I just have them and I can't, and I, you know, regardless of what I'm wearing, like my shirts. Like, I just wear, like, I wear large shirts. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'll be, I'll be popping out of it a little bit, low-key. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing, but I'm not trying to. You get what I'm saying? Women can be like that. They don't have to be like, let me make sure that every picture on Instagram was a butt shot. Let me make sure that I showcase every single accentuated curve in every picture that I take. Let me make sure that my body is in the right form and the right the right angle. It's 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 so obsessive. But what it gets you in the end is something I'll explain in another video, but it's nothing good. It's nothing good. I mean I've already talked about it in other in other videos, if you go through some of them. It's almost like a man. Okay, let's give me. I'll give you another example. A man. No, I'm gonna make another video on that. Let me. Let me. Yeah, I'm about to make another video on that. So, the alternative, once again, is to be a woman who's low key. She's not trying to be no. She's not trying to. She's not trying to put on a show. She might. She's looking for one dude. She's not looking for a thousand. She's looking for one man. She's not looking for all of them. That's it's such a stupid and retarded way to live your life. Now, for all these women out there who say, Oh, well, I don't do it for you. I do it for me. I don't want a woman who's like that. See, I do what I do. Not just for me. Not just for God. Also for another woman, for my future wife. I want to have a reputation that is clean enough to where people won't be embarrassed to be with me. The right type of person. See, I'm not just thinking about myself. I'm thinking about how is God going to be looking at me? How are other people going to be looking at me? There's nothing wrong with that. But the, the irony of that is what I want to point out. Sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but your words will never hurt me, right? Oh, I don't really care about a person's perception, right? But yet, most of these women, they feed off of all the attention and the validation they get from men. 
but it's not validation at all. It's merely, hey, look, I'm really uh, sexually attracted to you at a certain point in my life, right before, you know, right before I have this ejaculatory ex experience, you know, I have all this energy that I want to put towards this woman, but I'm telling you right now, you, there's nothing special about a sex object. Anybody will do. With It only takes, anybody will do. There's nothing special about that. There's nothing unique about that. There's nothing original or authentic about being like the next step above a Kleenex. There's nothing, I just don't understand how that's of any value. There's Now, there's nothing wrong with having a sexual desire. There's nothing wrong with being grateful that people find you sexually desirable. But it's one thing to be to go to the extreme and the extreme a lot of times looks like all right i'm gonna be in the gym i'm gonna make sure my pants are so tight that no man has to even imagine what it would be like to be with me because he can see it every time i do an exercise it's very foolish I'm giving you guys a lot of examples and I appreciate whoever's actually watched the whole video because you know I know sometimes people don't necessarily have an attention span or they don't think it's as important but I'm not necessarily trying to reach those people you know what I'm saying I don't I don't necessarily well anyways I'm gonna get back to the topic the way you should be as a woman is a woman who's wise a woman who's prude a woman who's shamefaced a woman who is low key, a woman who is not trying to show off. That's how God wanted women to be. They don't want a woman who's nobody. God doesn't want a woman who's loud. He doesn't want a woman who always has an opinion about something, but most importantly, he doesn't want a woman who acts like a harlot. But that is what the whole society is trying to the west at least in the west they're trying to make women be become whores in word but not necessarily in deed like i act like a whore i look like a whore i walk like a whore i might even talk like a whore but i'm not a whore you know what i'm saying sometimes i might be but a lot of times i'm not you know because i might be a teenager and i'm just i'm just emulating the behavior of my older sister or what i saw on tv but i'm not i don't actually have that lifestyle but i'm telling you right now it leads to that lifestyle it's going to lead to similar broken relationships if you have a lifestyle like that. If you even act like a life, like if you even act like that, it's going to it's going to come to you. It's just natural because you reap what you sow. You can't you can't you can't stop that. That's the law of that's one of God's laws. You reap you reap a certain you reap into something, you're going to I think I'm saying it right. You sow into something, you're going to reap the benefits, whether it's a consequence or a good thing, but in this case it's a bad thing. Despite the fact that you might not necessarily intend to be treated like a harlot, men are going to treat you like a harlot. Why? Because a man's going to say, huh, she's really, she looks really good in what she's wearing. But I also know that other men think the same thing. I also know that if she looks like that, she might be quote unquote doing it for her. But the type of men that she's going to attract is going to... She's going to influence men to treat her a certain way. So because of that, I basically understand now that even though she might not be a harlot, it's best for my case in order to protect myself because it's only natural that we want to preserve our own um, web. We only want to preserve ourselves. We're going to say, you know what? She, I'm not going to take her seriously. So because of the way she dresses, she's just a one night woman. She's not the one you want to take home to your mother. She's definitely not the one to settle down with. She looks like somebody I can never make my housewife. So therefore, it's best, uh, it's best that even if, if, if I do at all deal with her, it will only be for a, a, a temporary thing. So what ends up happening? All these women who might not act like harlots indeed, but because they look like harlots, they get treated like them nonetheless. So there is literally no good thing that can come from this. Yeah, you get, you get money. But so what? There's millions of people. You see celebrities all the time with money and all that, but they're not happy. Their lives are in shambles. They got tons of drama. Money doesn't get you anything at the long run. It doesn't. You can't buy peace with it. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the rant here so I can get to my next video. To talk about these men.